सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू वाटर डिलीवरी एप्लीकेशन प्रोजेक्ट सीरीज सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली डिजाइंड एंड क्रिएटेड द स्प्लाई स्क्रीन साइन अप स्क्रीन एंड साइन इन स्क्रीन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट द साइन इन स्क्रीन वी हैव डेवेलप्ड इट्स डिजाइन एंड इट्स बैक एंड फंक्शनैलिटी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सटेंड दैट सीरीज एंड वी विल बी एबल टू मेक द फोर गोड पासवर्ड स्क्रीन सो दैट इफ यूजर हैज फोर गोड हिज पासवर्ड ही कैन बी एबल टू रीसेट हिज पासवर्ड एंड कैन बी एबल टू लॉग इन अगेन इन टू आवर वाटर डिलीवरी एप्लीकेशन सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल दैन इट इज अ रिक्वेस्ट टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल बिकॉज वी हैव बी ब्रिंगिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रिकोर्सिस मटीरियल एंड कॉन्टेंट फॉर यू सो स्टेट्यून एंड वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड so guys we are back with our sign in activity.java file and here we already have created the two callback function when user click on this register button we got this callback and when user click on forgot password so we receive this callback event so now it's time to design our forgot password screen so for this click on drawable right click on it and from the new go to the activity and select here the empty activity and here we will name the activity as forgot password activity and we are okay with the language java and click finish button so wait a while until gradle is built successfully So guys we are in now forgot password activity dot java so we have to select it xml file so that we can design this activity so we will keep a simple design for this i will select an image view from here and click can drop on the activity and from here we will select our logo we just have imported in our first video and click okay button let's resize it so that we can be able to give its constraints give the top bottom left and right constraints so let me hide some window so that we can be able to see the things clearly and from here click on attributes and from here select the width as matching constraints and from the height you should give 200 dp so that we have an appropriate size so i think it's a bigger size let's decrease it further and uh, select the image and from here select this vertical bias to appropriate location so that we can be able to place our text view and button right below it so we are okay here and in the same way select and edit text and put below here give its constraints as well and from the layout width we will give its matching constraints and in the same way we will select its id as edit text forgot password email so that we can be able to distinguish the corresponding edit text to the corresponding screen and from the name click on defractor and delete the name and from the search bar search for hint and from here give the hint as enter email and in the same way let's drag a button below here and in the same way give the left right and top constraints from this edit text select the button 
let me delete the search option here and in the same way give the width as matching constraints and we have to give the 30 dp height so that it will look at appropriate location and in the text we will give the text as the reset password so let me give uh, some margin from the left and the right side to, so that it can be able to look appropriately and in the same way let me give the same margin for our edit text so now i will have to give the background of this button to our custom created buttons triable which we just have created in our previous video so if you are unfamiliar with the custom background button you can uh, watch my previous video in our playlist so for the moment i will give its background as triable sign up and its tint will be at null and from here we have to delete this android and give the app so now you can see my custom background image is appeared here now come to the forgot password activity.java file we will have to take the instance of our edit text and for our button let me do it Let me initialize this edit text. So you can see here there are a lot of edit text here. So it's a convention to add the forgot password activity so that you can be able to distinguish the corresponding edit text to corresponding screen. So we have made here and in the same way let me add the button click event. So now let me allocate the button event to this button and I will add on click event to my forgot password reset button pressed. So guys now our edit text is initialized and our button click event is linked. Now we will have to come back to the sign in activity and we will have to add the forgot password activity to this forgot password text view link. So for this I will go into the sign in activity.java file and from here so I already have created this sign in forgot password link event and from here I will initialize the intent to pass the activity and I will push the forgot password activity from the forgot password click text event and in the same way let me add the sign up screen when user click on the register button he will go to the sign up activity as well so let me build and compile the application and see if i am successful to link my forgot activity and registered activity on the sign in screen So guys if I'm going on the sign in screen and from here when I click the register button I will go on the register or sign up screen and in the same way when I'm going to click on the forgot password which is the purpose of this video so I am navigated to the forgot password activity screen. So now let's add the functionality on our forgot activity.java file and for this I will initialize my Firebase auth instance and when the user click on this button I will add the function here the name as reset password and I will make this function right below and the error is gone so from here we will add some validation 
and we will extract the text from our edit text email and uh, if user does not enter a valid email if user does not enter a valid email we will set the error that please enter valid email and we will request the focus and the program will be return from here so one last thing we will have to add the progress bar here so that user may be able to know that uh, some background processing is happened and uh, let me give its constraints and its id will be for good password activity and let's we set its visibility to gone so that when we enter into screen we should not see it and uh, let me initialize this activity here And after that, when user entered a valid email, we will bring the progress bar into foreground view dot visible. We will send a password reset email and we will enter the email. So it is always a best practice to add on complete listener. So if the task is successful, we will display a toast here. And after that, we will navigate the activity to sign in screen. user is failed to reset the password we will display a toast that failed to reset the password so guys let me summarize what we have done we have taken the text for the email and we have validated that user either has entered a valid email if user does not enter a valid email we have displayed the error and we request the focus and in the same way we have uh, bring the progress bar to the foreground and after completing the task we will set its visibility to gone and in the task we have sent the password reset email user will receive an email on his entered email and uh, if that email is also exist on the firebase and if user is successful to reset the password we will display the toast and we will navigate the activity to the sign in screen we have successfully completed all tasks so let me build and compile the application again So okay guys from the sign in go to the for good password screen and from here click on reset password so you can see here we are receiving error please enter valid email so our validation is accurate so now let's come to our firebase and go to console and from here we have connected this water delivery app and 
we can see here our two users are here the first user and the second user so we will reset the password for this user for this if i am going into the real time database i can also see the both users and for this user we have a password here you will be wondering that my password is naked here so it's the best practice to encrypt the password and save here but for the demo and simplicity we have entered the naked password and you are seeing my password is 123456 and we have to reset it if you do not know about the real time database and the firebase database you can check out my previous video of this playlist where i have taught completely about the firebase database and its basics and uh, for the moment let me launch my application and here i will enter this email and i am going to click on this reset button so you can see the activity behind this button and i am receiving the error that i am failed to register the email because i have not entered a valid email which is written here i have put this dot here let me correct it and click on this reset button so it is saying please check your email to reset the password so my password is successfully reset let me check my email so i am receiving the email that uh, water delivery application i have to reset the password i am going to click on this link and my new password will be 9876543213 so you can say the counting from 9 to 1 in the descending order so click on save and my password is changed so guys my password is changed now let me check my password from here and we have entered the password 9876543213 and from here click on sign in so i am receiving user has successfully signed in so guys hope you have enjoyed the video so, so this is enough for this session see you in next video so see you in next video where we will create the dashboard after sign in to our application so stay tuned and like share our video comment on our video and subscribe to our channel